here at Open Door, um, we uh, make sure that the kids have get into their school, get their school work done, make sure they have their doctor, dental appointments taken care of, as well as therapy um, and med appointments. Um, we interact with the kids, we play games with the kids, we try to do outings when we have the monies to do that, um, and try to show them a different way than what they've normally been shown at home. We have we are licensed for 18. Uh, we usually our average is between um, 10 and 13. Um, the average age usually is middle school to high school. Um, we do get some elementary kids, but that's very rare. Um, and um, we stay pretty cool. And we serve all the counties in the state of Indiana. If you could have one wish to make your program better, what would that be? Um, that would be making sure that we have enough money to be able to do the things right for the kids. Um, make sure that they have the proper clothing, food, um, and again, like I said, outings, things like that that they could learn from and grow from and be able to be successful in the community. We've tried to, over the years, kind of add things that are important and very needed in the community and child um, psychiatry is a huge, huge need and it's not been met in this area for a long time. So we worked something out with Bloomington Meadows Hospital and so kids um, in the community can come here and get outpatient psychiatric services uh, via a provider in Bloomington. We have an art therapist that comes out twice a week. She does one group and then she sees kids individually. Um, we have another art therapist who during different school breaks will come out and do like an art camp for a week with the kids. We have a ton of art throughout the building. Um, anybody who walks through see it, it's amazing actually. Um, and one of the things we're working on now is trying to get supplies uh, together to uh, start our new Etsy adventure. And uh, the kids will sell things on Etsy and then they'll decide how we spend the money. trying to build up this program. As you can see, I have not very many volunteers, um, but a lot of people have a misconception whenever I say Team Court, especially the kids in the school, they think that I'm, like, they have to be in trouble to be in it, when actually I'm looking for volunteers that are willing to help the teens, that will be their defense and prosecuting attorneys, that will be their jurors to help them. Um, team Court, for some, it's meant as a punishment, especially when they come in through probation, but it's more meant to help them figure out what's going on and to deter that behavior. Um, because once they complete the teen court program, especially on the probation side, it can be wiped from their uh, record. So then they have a second chance of, you know, doing it all over again. And it's just, teen court is meant as a, um, it takes away from the juvenile courts and from the probation load because often they have a lot of cases and especially a lot of truancy cases. We have a lot of kids in New Albany High School and Floyd County um, that miss school, a lot of school for various reasons. So this is to help um, figure out what's going on, get them back into school or keep them from whatever behavior it is that they're doing. I go after school each day and we provide transportation and we try to make it free of charge entirely because most of my kids are in poverty mm -hmm. and we're trying to provide an opportunity to have a family environment, a safe environment and an environment they don't have to worry about so transportation is not a worry for them. We do field trips in the summer and I provide breakfast and lunch for that because I found out when I began most of them weren't eating breakfast so we found that need and we're filling that need for all right, we work on life skills mostly, and one of the things I love about this versus being in a classroom setting to teach kids is I get to cater my lessons to what those kids need. So we do a lot of peer relations, and we work a lot on how to work with one another. We do prevention education. We uh, 
what we've been working on lately is kind of a self-esteem thing. But instead of just looking at all the, I'm awesome, I'm cool, I'm great, we're digging in a little deeper and saying, well, you know, sometimes I'm lazy. So I'm gonna write lazy down, but I'm gonna put a big X on that, and I'm gonna change that to productive. That's gonna be my goal. So we work a lot on goal setting and improvement of ourselves and saying that we can step up out of our circumstances. One of the things that's nice about it is we have second, third, and fourth graders. So a child that enters in second grade stays with us at third and the fourth grade level. And a lot of the kids tell me, I wish we had new directions every day. So I know it's making an impact in their lives. I see each school once a week. Two of the schools I do on the same day. I've packed it in as tight as I can. <laughs> Ideally, it would be wonderful to be able to see the kids twice a week. And that would take a team. That would take another van that would take another coordinator and uh, work throughout with that. And because I just see so much growth in the kids and it's so wonderful, the kids I had last year, to see how much they've grown this year and the impact it's made. Once in a while we reflect on what we've learned and I get to see what, what has stuck with them. And uh, you know, the last one, one of the kids says, I've learned I can be a good person.